This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See, I'm thinking, see, man, a lot of that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Man, it gives us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Roaring Kitty showed a position that he owns 6.6% .6 of Chewy. And guess what? The stock is up 20% and somehow GME is crashing and burning. Do you guys think that because Roaring Kitty bought some Chewy that people started selling off their GME shares knowing that GME is sitting on over $4 billion in cash and has Ryan Cohen as the CEO? Of course they're not. This is the bad actors. This is the criminals doubling and tripling down on the criminal behavior because they want to justify it by saying people are bailing on GME because Roaring Kitty decided to take a stake in Chewy. It's absolute, absolutely ridiculous. It makes no sense. And why doesn't the SEC, DOJ, or FBI investigate this? Now, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Chewy. But me personally, I'm going to pick up some more shares of GME. At this discounted price, I will pick up some more shares of GME. And as far as Chewy is concerned, a lot of you guys might not like this, but I might I might buy some puts because I believe this 20% rise is an overreaction. It hasn't been this high in over a year. And just him taking a position does not mean that the company is going to make more money. I am not going to believe that. Okay. So I am going to buy more GME shares and I might buy some puts on Chewy because I believe this 20% uptick is an overreaction. But it could also be the bad actors manipulating the price to try to get people to sell their GME shares by pushing up Chewy artificially. The bottom line is this. These bad actors can control the price of any stock that they want. And you know why? Because they can sit in the dog pools and, and push the sell orders, the buy orders, do whatever they want with the algorithm trade algorithm trading because if they get caught, what are the consequences if they get caught manipulating the market? Absolutely nothing. They don't lose their license to trade. They don't go to jail. And they even get to keep a majority of the profits that they made from the illegal activity. So why would they stop? I believe, and this is just my opinion, and once again, I'm not here to buy, hold, or sell any stock. The liquidity is running out. The banks are in trouble. And even though the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI are refusing to police the market properly, I believe the market is going to police itself when there's no more money to do all this naked shorting. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that because Nick Roaring Kitty showed a position in Chewy that retail investors started selling off their GME shares? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.